I think there's another element here, and I think this is why the Palestinians have so focused on Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is tied to what we're doing in this country. Nations that are in great struggles have to have a sense of the justice of their cause. If there is a weak point over the last number of years that has developed in the overall Israeli national security posture, it is that sense of inner conviction in the rightness of the cause of Israel. Those of us who study this and everybody on this stage has not a doubt about the rightness of our cause. It's in Jerusalem where we had a Jewish majority. Even prior to the rise of Zionism, before the British got here, we had a Jewish majority in the 1860s. So that's not a question to us. When, those, when we look around the Middle East today and we see what's happening to holy sites, and we know who's going to protect the holy sites of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, it'll be Israel that'll protect them. Look what's been happening to mosques and churches in Iraq, Pakistan, and elsewhere, or ancient Buddhist statues in Afghanistan. So we understand the justice of our cause. When new archaeological findings show our connection with this land, we identify even more with our cause. But for the Palestinian side, what has become essential is to deny our very connection to the city and to demand the city be Palestinian. And therefore, if we talk about Israel's security needs, and Israel's security needs in Jerusalem, we have to also consider that if the state of Israel were to give up, were to give up Zion, when Zion was part of the very foundation of our national movement, Zionut, Zionism, that would be a very, very heavy blow to that national self-assurance that this country needs when it faces such a difficult challenge ahead. And therefore, keeping Jerusalem united is not only good for the security of its residents, it not only prevents the loss of population in Jerusalem, but it also keeps Israel itself ultimately strong. Thank you.